right, after, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours of riding, we are in Yuma. Have a snack and then head out in the BDR. I'm so afraid right now. Yeah, I'm gonna look ahead. Day before. I'm not second to get any of this over the bar. Oh my god, I did it again! Okay, I'm gonna look at you. You just like look at me. Saw your front end wobbling around. I'm like, oh no. Yep, we're good. Foot peg, check. Bugger. Oh yeah, you got in that. Yep. Whee! <laughs> ah. You win, first crash. Yep. Oh, my luggage holding up. Looking pretty good. Yeah, everything's nice and tight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. Arr. Instantly some spicy rocks. <laughs> Oh, it's twisty. Don't overthink it. Look ahead. Change your core. Smile. You can't smile on the outside. Smile on the inside. That's the way I do it. Smile with my eyes, as they say. Okay, well, it looks like I'm making an error of some sort right now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I've now seen the lake. If you're thinking about doing the BDR, I would imagine any of the BDRs, you can get the Butler maps for them, and they're really cool. I just got mine, Pierce brought it down, it was delivered after I left home. But there's things like an uh, elevation profile for the entire trip, all seven segments. Um, descriptions of each segment, of course maps. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. I'm impressed. I think it was 15 bucks US. Definitely worth it. And the GPS tracks are free, so you can just download those right from their website. Not the Butler website, the GDR website. And just start looking at them on your device of uh, choosing. Looks like left to me. It's left. Left? Yep. Yeah. The Oligby? 
I don't know. But the pointy thing is pointing north and we need to be pointing west. I'm out front for a little bit. Enjoy the duck preview. Okay, lean back. Here with your feet, not with your handlebars. This is definitely loose. Completely sideways. You're not gonna. You're not gonna think twice about doing that. Hey, corner. Ah, oh, some shade. Let's take a break. I hear him. He's doing fine. Well, this is a great place to take a little break. Out of the sun, maybe have some water. It does get a little tense in some of that stuff. Like now that we're stopped, you can see, hope you can see some of the ruts are pretty big. Yeah, it's loose. It's tricky for sure. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a handful, isn't it? Okay, I rode for about 10 minutes and I've been stopped for, I don't know, four or five, had some water, took off my helmet, changed the battery, and I still don't hear Pierce, so I'm gonna turn around and go back and take a look. If I were cool and strong and all that stuff, which I'm not, I would uh, just put my foot down and burn around and go. But this bike's too heavy for me to do that, too tall, too short, too weak. I've got excuses for days. So we're gonna do it this way. I also don't want it to fall over because I'm not a fan of picking it up. Even less of a fan of picking it up when it's loaded with all this gear. Let's hope everything's okay back there. As soon as I can, I gotta get up on my foot peg. Now. Ah. <laughs> See Pierce's helmet up ahead, so that's great. I didn't have to go back all that far in a couple minutes. Let's hope the guy in the helmet's okay. Uh-huh. Are you okay first? I'm admiring your handiwork here. Oh, well, thanks. I'm like, I'm an artist for the, for the wheel. <laughs> Did you go down? Oh, yeah. I don't see the point of impact. There wasn't really one. I just sort of, the front end dug in, and then I just sort of went over, and I just sort of laid it down and rested on here. Oh, yeah. There was no impact. I just tipped over. So you're just taking a moment? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's tough because I reached a spot 300 meters back that was in the middle was just soup. So I went off to the side, but then the side started to get soft and the middle was good again. It's like, how do you know? It's always, everything's different. Yeah. All right. 
commencing turnaround sequence. <laughs> oh, look at the tarantula! My God, was that good luck? Hi, buddy! Oh, you're so freaky! He's coming for you. He's gonna help me push. I'm glad he's gonna help you, because I'm not. He's got eight legs. He'll have traction. What are you doing, little buddy? You're gonna get run over like that. Hmm. Poor little guy. Nice. He did it. There's the tarantula. He made it. Now he's gotta turn around. It's game on. Whoa! completely different. Just 10 seconds ago I was still on that wash. Still on the track. Good. Well it's not necessarily take the easiest path, but let's make it interesting, eh? Crowd we I do love me some rock rides. That was delightful. That wash was a lot of fun. You know, while you're in it, you're like, ooh, this is hard, it's scary, but it's that sense of accomplishment you get when you come out the other side. And I think that that uh, gets uh, exponentially bigger, the bigger the bike is. I think that Pierce is even gonna have a bigger sense of accomplishment when he comes out the other end of that because he's riding a monstrous bike. All right, let's hope he comes out of there soon because I don't want to go back. Yeah! You did it! Yes! Our <laughs> victory is yours. And we're rolling again. Very dusty here. I'm hanging way back from here. Look how cool it is. Yeah. Well, we just slayed a bunch of dirt road at some decent speeds. Now we're coming up on, I think, a little bit of pavement. But what might be the last segment of today's. But I don't know. I'm just rolling with it. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> 